Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. Today is, um, what is today? <laughs> it is Tuesday, January the 4th. And this is episode 161, I think, of No Catchy Name. <clears throat> so I have four finished objects to share with you guys today. And I have one whip that I'm going to have to frog back some because I misread the pattern. Or I actually, I didn't misread it, I just didn't read ahead. <laughs> Always read ahead on your patterns, especially if it's something new. But we'll get to that when I get to whips. So yeah, so I got four finished objects. Got my notes right here. <clears throat> so we'll start with my pullover. I was making, um, at the end of Vlogmas, at the very end of December, I started a pullover uh, pattern. Also, excuse my breathing, I'm super pregnant. <laughs> so it's kind of hard for me to breathe. But anyways, um, by Sorella. It was called Easy Pullover um, Sweater by Sorella. And it is a pretty good pattern, except I've noticed with her patterns that she um, sizes the plus sizes weird. <laughs> I think she only makes the small size, size and then she just calculates um, maybe what she thinks <laughs> the, size, the increases should be for plus sizes. Um, because every time I make one of her patterns, this is the third time I made one of her patterns, um, the plus sizes have been weirdly sized and the arms have been ridiculously long. <laughs> But, um, so I started one in the end of December, at the end of December, in the extra large size, because that's usually what I am, especially now that I'm pregnant. Um, and it was way too wide. And I did check gauge. I was only a little tiny bit off on my gauge. Um, but it was really wide. It was more like a, um, two or three X. And the sleeves, had I finished them, they would have been probably down to my knees, <laughs> uh, hanging down. So I got that pullover almost done. I got the whole body done in one sleeve. And then I was just like, you know what? I don't like this. If it's horrible now, it was baggy on me now that I'm eight months pregnant. So I knew there was no way it would fit me after having a baby. So I just frogged it. <laughs> I did that one, of, I think one of my last vlogs, I frogged it and uh, started it over. So I did start it over on the last day of December. I started the yoke, the camera, I hope it's not shaking. <laughs> I think it looks like it's shaking. And uh, this time I made the medium size, and it actually f it fits me now. If I could, if I could think about it, I might take a picture of me wearing it, um, and popping it at, at some point. <laughs> but I'm I'm not gonna plan on wearing this until after I'm not pregnant, because I don't want to stretch it out. I want to wear this when I my body's back to its normal shape, normalish shape. Hopefully it does that. <laughs> but anyways, I did finish it, so I'm super excited. This took me. Um, I started it December 31st and I just did like a few rolls of the yoke and then I worked on it the, the first and the second of uh, January and finished it up. So it took me a little like two days of actually working on it and then just a little tiny bit on December 31st. I used an eye hook which is a 5.5 millimeter and I used Red Heart Super Saver stripes in bright stripes and this is a free pattern. My ends are not woven in yet. I haven't done that yet but here it is. Woo. <laughs> See it's much more my size and the sleeves I did have to alter the sleeves I'll talk about that in just a second but I'm just showing you real quick so this took for the size medium <clears throat> that's actually yeah that's the front because that the front is solid the back has a line down the middle and uh, I turned after every row to keep the line straight because if I hadn't turned every every end of the row it would have kind of, you know, started like hats do sometimes. It just kind of starts drifting off to the side. So I did do that so that the seam is like at least straight down the back. And the front is solid. Um, let's see here. Uh, it's done in a repeat. That's really easy. It's like a solid row. Let me pull it up here. There's like a solid row of double, cro double crochets. And then there's a double crochet eyelet row. <laughs> And it's pretty much the same thing over and over. There's just certain parts you have to do slightly different things. Especially when you're working on the shaping up here. And the sleeves. <laughs> now the sleeves. I should have brought my pattern in here. But it's still in the living room. The sleeves are still, would still would have been heckin' long. If I had just followed the pattern. Now they come to right here. Which is where I want them. <laughs> and um, let's see here. I cut out. Oh, I wish I had brought that in here i'll pop up the exact number but i cut out some rows and i had to change uh where the decreases was because of that so that's kind of why it's like wide and then it just goes short really quick but it actually looks good on and um i did do the cuff the way she said too 
but I know I cut out some rows. I just, I didn't think to write down how many rows. Um, see, I wrote down that I did it different, but I didn't write down what. I need to, um, to fix that so that in the future, if I want to make this again, I know exactly what I did. It's on my pattern. I wrote it down on my pattern. I just need to put it in my little notebook. I'll do that later. But yeah, so I did have to alter it a little bit, but if it's nice, I think, right now. <laughs> so I think it'll fit good um, once the baby's born. And I think it'll be really cute with like a um, cardigan, or not a cardigan, what are they called? Camis or a t-shirt underneath it. And I love the colors, I love bright colors. I actually thought about taking the black out and just having the bright colors, but I like the black. So yeah, I will take a picture of me wearing it and pop it up here. <laughs> and uh, I'm just really pregnant, so I'll have a big old bump on my belly, but that's to be expected. But I like it a lot. I'm looking forward to wearing it. And I might be wearing it in an upcoming video. <laughs> I thought about wearing it today, but I'm actually already like hot. We just got home and um, I don't want to be burning up. But I, I, I do like this sweater a lot. I just, I hate that everyone her patterns needs to be altered in one way or another. I feel like she's never made the big sizes of her own patterns, which is weird. Because if you write a pattern, you should make every version of it to test it. Or at least have testers do that. That's the whole point of testers, you know. Because um, <clears throat> I know, I know I'm not the only plus size woman out there who has regular size arms. <laughs> like length. Because um, her everyday cardigan, I made two of those and I had to alter their sleeves as well. Uh, or they would have been like a foot flopping off my arm. And uh, plus those people don't have big long arms. <laughs> I mean some of them do. Some of the tall ones do. But um, I don't know. I'm 5'7". And uh, you know if I was short. <laughs> no offense to short people. But you know like, like a 5'2 or shorter person. It would have been like crazy. <laughs> It'd probably been touching the ground. But um, yeah. So if you make a Sorella pattern. Just remember to always try it on as you go. And don't be afraid to frog. And to alter a little bit. Because I do like her sweater patterns, and she's got a lot of cute uh, cardigans and stuff. So I probably will stay, still keep using her patterns. I just will go into it <laughs> more cautiously next time to know that I'm probably going to have to, like, custom size it. But anyways, I love it. And I'll insert a picture. I just, I got to weave in the ends. Did I say how many? It took two full, um, for the size of medium, it took two full of the jumbo skeins of Red Heart straps. They are 482 yards each. So I took two of those and then I had to use like five yards, <laughs> just a little tiny bit to finish this last cuff. Let's see here. I attached it right here where this orange is. So just that much out of the third skein. So now that was so annoying. I was like, I was trying to get the ball to stretch, you know, to <laughs> make the whole thing. And then I ran out right there. That was the last bit. But, um, so I still have a full skein and a practically full skein of that yarn, uh, to make something with. <laughs> I don't know what, but anyways. That's my easy pullover. All right, my next finished object, oh, I forgot to bring it in here, is my ladybug. I showed that at the end of 2021. Uh, it's just a pattern I did myself um, for good luck. I'll insert a picture of it because I don't want to go get it. <laughs> it's hanging in my living room. Um, uh, ladybugs are like a sign of good luck. So I just wanted, I like to make something every year to hang it in my living room to just remind me to um, be positive and stuff. And so that's what I made this year. And I, did, I didn't use pattern. I just made up my own little thing. So I'll insert a picture of that. My next finished object is a um, pattern my sister sent me that she found on Pinterest. And she asked me if I could make it for her. I assumed to hang in her craft room because most of the stuff in her craft room is like rainbow themed. So um, she got a really nice craft room. Anyways. <laughs> um, so yeah, she sent it to me and I was like, okay, I'll make it for you. And I ended up making it really quick. I made it while watching an episode of a show me and Devin was watching. And um, it's just scrap yarns. So it, it worked up super fast. But here it is. <laughs> it's called the uh, Rainbow <laughs> uh, Wall Hanging by Crochet by Carms. And it's a free pattern. Uh, I used a G-hook and Red Heart Scraps. Except this color right here is not Red Heart. This green color is I Love This Yarn. Uh, Limelight. And this purple is this yarn right here. Let me grab it. Cause I thought I still had some of that light purple by Red Heart. And I, I can't find it. So I guess I used it all. That light purple is this yarn. I made a baby blanket with recently. It's Hershner's Worst to Date baby yarn. <laughs> so I used that because it's close to that Red Heart color that I wanted to use. But the rest of these are red at heart. This is cherry red, um, 
pumpkin, bright yellow, and to cure or something like that. And yeah, so you start with the purple, <laughs> and you basically just increase. You do two rows of each color, increasing, to make the rainbow. And then you gotta go back and do all the tassels. That was like the longest part was making the tassels, and I tried to cut them even. But uh, if she wants them different, she can trim them herself. But it'll be hanging against a wall, so it'll be flat. And the little hanger up here. It was a really cute project. I kind of want to make one for myself, but I don't know if I want to make the tassels again. Um, um, that might be a project to do once the baby's born and like I'm sitting with her, holding her or something. I could do that. I did a lot of stuff like that with Jesse when he was a baby. Uh, holding him in between my legs, you know, when he sat crisscross. <laughs> um, this would be an easy project to do over a baby's head because it's just simple. <laughs> but I think it's cute. So she's going to hang it in her craft room, I'm assuming, because just about everything in there has got some sort of rainbow-like theme to it. And it's pretty. That's the back. <laughs> the the red I used had some knots in it, and I just left them since I knew it was going to be hanging, you know, up against the wall. But it's cute as heck. I like it a lot. I've seen it floating around on Facebook and stuff a lot lately, so I guess a lot of people are making them. But it's a free pattern, so go check it out for sure. It's cute and quick. Alright, my last finished object. I've made this before, but it's been a while. <laughs> oh gosh, I don't know if that was last, like, 2020 or before that. Because <clears throat> to me, last year, <laughs> saying that 2021 was last year is still weird. Because I don't feel like we're that far from it. But um, it's a pattern that was gifted to me a long time ago. Someone sent me like calendar um, patterns that uh, had like different patterns to make every month. And uh, this was in it. And I made one back then. And I sold it in my Etsy shop. And then I wanted to make one for myself to keep as a Valentine's decoration. I thought it would be cute to add to my little shelf that I decorate for Valentine's Day. And it's called Little Strawberries by, and I have it's blank because I can't get my computer to boot up. <laughs> it was taking forever to write in, but I will link it below. And it's a free pattern uh, on their website. But I have it like in a calendar thing. But here it is. <laughs> and I was going to put safety eyes and safety nose on it, but I closed the head before I did that. <laughs> Pregnancy brain or whatever. So I did go back on it and embroidered the nose and just made little eyes. But isn't it cute? It's a strawberry. <laughs> I used uh, Red Heart Cherry Red, white, <laughs> and this green is uh, some more of that. It's all of this yarn, uh, Limelight. I love it. That's that's my favorite yarn. That's green since the Glow Worm. I got some of that here. It's it's kind of similar to Glow Worm. It's not quite as bright, but they don't make it anymore. I'm holding this, uh, saving this Glow Worm for a cardigan that I want to make later this year. I stuck that back in there. But it's so cute. The actual pattern calls for DK weight yarn and a small hook, so it'd be smaller. But I like making mine bigger. <laughs> I say that all the time. So I used um, an elf hook and worsted weight yarns. It has got a lot of pieces because it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten pieces to sew together. So if you don't like sewing pieces, this isn't the pattern for you. But it's so cute, and you you can put the little thing up here. And then there's also, you can put them around the little feet. But I, I like it best with it up there because it looks like a strawberry. <laughs> and you just stitch these little um, seeds on there. I just used some uh, scrap gold color. I'm not, I think it's Red Heart, but I'm not sure what it's called. Just to do that. It's so cute. It would be so much cuter with safety eyes and safety nose, but I forgot to do that. <laughs> so I just stitched it on there. But yeah, this is just going to be sitting in my living room for Valentine's Day. And I think it's cute. The other one I made looks different than this. I don't know if I took a picture of that. <laughs> But uh, I did use safety fe features for it, and it sewed in my Etsy shop right after, a little bit after I made it. So, it's just so cute. I just love it. So, that's all my finished objects. I did finish this hippo, but I'm pretty sure I already showed it. I know it was in a um, national holiday video, but I think I showed it in the last No Kitchen name. I'll link it below, just in case I didn't, but I made a hippo. It looks like a pig. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so that'll be linked below if you're interested. Now, I only have one active whip now that I finished that bear today. I started it uh, yesterday night, like last night. I started making the head, and when I closed it and woven the ends is when I realized I forgot to put the, the eyes and stuff in it, and I just got kind of like flustered with it, so I just put it aside until today. And then I was like, it's okay, I'll just stitch it on there. So my only active whip was this fox rattle that was gifted to me. <clears throat> right here it is. It is by, it came from Mary Maxim, and it's by uh, Circulo, <laughs> I'm not sure that's how you say it, 
but it's really cute and I want to make it. I just started it and was working away on it and I realized I started with the wrong color. The head is made out of white and I'm making it out of orange. So apparently, see this is why I was saying it earlier, always read your patterns before you go making them. Because <laughs> I, it says the head, use color 8176, which these yarn, this uh, bag doesn't tell me which color is which. It says that there's one ball of Amber Groomy color 8176, 100% cotton. But that's it. It doesn't say like white or orange. <laughs> so, um, I was like, oh, well, it looks like the head is orange. So, I'm going to make an orange head. And no, apparently the head is white. And then you make the half head out of orange and like, like a cap and put over it. So, I'm going to read that and I'm going to frog back to where I need to stop at. So, I'm assuming it's really similar. Let's see here. It increases to 54. Yeah, so all I gotta do is rip this back to where it increased to 54. And then stop working on this and then make the head out of white. And I just got, when it happened, it got so flustered and I put it up. So I will work on it. It's just gonna, I was hoping to have it done before today, but um, that just made me annoyed. <laughs> so uh, I don't have to frog too much because I didn't finish it. I'll just have to count in the rows and see. Um, so this is apparently color 4095. White is 8176. And then the black is 8990. <laughs> Always read your patterns. I normally do that. But I didn't this time. But now I know how to do that. So I just I should just have to frog this a little bit. Because it's not all the way done. I might work on that later. The reason I got so flustered is because it's a really small hook and really small yarn. This is... I don't even know how small it is. Does it say... I don't know if it says, but this is a C hook. And this yarn looks pretty small. It's like a, I don't know if it's a one, but it's close to that. Maybe a two. <laughs> but, um, and I'm not used to working with stuff like this. So, uh, I will fix that. I just have worked on it in a few days because I got mad at myself for not pre-reading the pattern, which I normally do. I always normally skim through the pattern just so I got, I got like a general idea. Especially when it comes to like amigurumis. Because if I can crochet the body parts on, I will. Instead of sewing them on. So I always like pre-read amigurumi patterns. So that I can just crochet their little body parts on instead of having to sew them on. But lesson learned again. <laughs> so that's my only active whip. I am going to be looking for more whips to start though. Um... I don't know what though. I have some yarn in the living room that I want to try to work through because I want to clear up that shelf in the living room for other things. So, I don't know. I've got two balls of Red Heart Ombre. The purple one. I think it's called Violet. <laughs> I can't remember. That Devin bought me recently. Um, that I'd like to use for something. Maybe, I don't know. I don't know. Hold on, my phone's done. <laughs> I gotta charge my phone. But, um, yeah, like all my, um, what should I say, variegated yarns and stuff like that is in there. So, I'd, li I'd like to work through that so that I can use those shelves for, like, baby things and stuff. And, um, not for yarn. <laughs> but, I don't know. I don't know. I'll have to look around on Ravelry and stuff and see what other people's making and see if there's something I want to make. And, of course, there's always room for amigurumis. I'd like to take something with me, make something that I could take with me to my baby doctor appointments. They're gonna be every week now after today's appointment um so it'd be nice to have something to work on in the waiting room while i'm waiting for my turn but i don't know <laughs> i have to think about it but yeah so i will work on this little fox rattle maybe tonight maybe not i don't know <laughs> but i'm glad that i realized that that was the wrong color before i um finished it like finished the whole orange part that would have been so annoying having to like <laughs> pick it out, you know, and uh, then frog it. But oh well, it happens. Just always pre-read your patterns. So yeah, that's all the crochet stuff. Do a little bit of life update real quick for the people interested. <laughs> I uh, I did go to the OB today and everything was good. I didn't get an ultrasound today. They scheduled that for next Monday. So I'll be getting another ultrasound then. And uh, they've been doing that just to check her growth because of health reasons. Um, but so far she's been on track. Her heart rate was good today. She's been moving like crazy. Uh, my blood pressure was a little high. Like it was, it was high, but it was the low high. 
<laughs> so it wasn't uh, nothing to worry about too bad. They, they checked it before I left and it had went back down. So uh, they keep an eye on my blood pressure because I had preeclampsia with my son. But uh, yeah, I'm just feeling really pregnant, <laughs> really sore. And I'm, having, I'm still having Braxton Hicks uh, all the time. <laughs> and I'm just really fatigued lately. The last few days I've been like super tired. Not sleepy tired, but like physically tired. So I've just been taking it easy. That's pretty much it. <laughs> so I, I, yeah, I guess that's everything. I don't think, I can't think of anything else <laughs> that I should update you guys on. Jesse starts school back tomorrow. He's supposed to start today, but was, he was out because of the snow. And we're supposed to get three to five inches Thursday night. So he'll probably be out of school Friday as well. Because the snow down here in our city melts really quick, but we're surrounded by mountains and all the kids on the mountains can't get down when um, when it snows. So they just let's go out for everybody. June's moving right now, she's kicking. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so I am 35 weeks tomorrow. So there's like five weeks left-ish. She could come at any time, really. <laughs> um, so I'm hoping it's sooner rather than later. I hope she's not one of those babies that wait till 42 weeks. <laughs> But, uh, I guess we'll wait and see. <laughs> but, yeah, so I'm going to hop off here and get this video edited. It's really late. I meant to film this earlier today, and I just was busy and tired. And, um, so you'll be seeing it tonight and mostly tomorrow probably because, um, it's already kind of late here. It's like 7, almost, almost 7. So I'm going to hop off here, and I'll see you guys tomorrow for Watch Work on Wednesday. i got to find a new whip to start. I like to start a new whip for that every, uh, week. So I gotta go look for a pattern tonight. <laughs> and um, yeah, I'll probably do some more vlogging randomly up to the baby comes. And then I'll take a break obviously for a few days. <laughs> and um, then I definitely will be vlogging her because I know a lot of people want, are interested to see her and uh, are excited to see uh, all the gifts that you guys have bought for us and sent to it made for us uh, to be used. And I can't wait to take pictures of her and all the little clothes and hats and things that people's uh, made and sent. So I'm looking forward to it. But I'm going to hop off here and I'll see you guys in another video. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.